Let's write a C program to count the number of occurrences of digit k in user entered number n. In previous day video tutorial, we explained the same logic using recursive function. So in today's video tutorial, let's do the same thing using iterative logic. Okay. So let's assume that user has entered num value as 10525 and k value as 5. In that case, we need to see for the number of occurrences of k inside user entered number. So 5 has appeared twice in this number. So count value should be 2. Our program should output count as 2. This is the objective of our program. So num modulo division 10 fetches the last digit in this number. We compare it with the value of k. If it's equal, we increment the value of count and we reduce the value of num by one digit from right by doing num is equal to num division 10. We do this repeatedly inside a while loop or a for loop until num value is zero. Once num value is zero, we, the control exits the while loop and we return the value present inside count. So now we check num modulo division 10 with the value of k. Observe here, num modulo division 10, if num modulo division 10 is equal to k, then increment the value of count. Inside the while loop, reduce the value of num by writing num division 10, that's it. So let's write the C code. So I'll take two integer variables, n and k. I'll ask the user to input a positive integer number. Let us store it inside the address of integer variable n. So similarly, I'll ask the user which, uh, which digit, which digits occurrence you want to check for slash n. Okay. So let us store that inside the address of integer variable k. So let me directly write a printf statement and inside that itself, I'll call a function called occurrence. So percentage D has appeared percentage D times in percentage D slash n for new line character. So first percentage D is for k. Second percentage D is the return value from the function occurrence to which we pass user entered numbers n and k and the last percentage d is the actual number entered by the user. So let me define this function occurrence. As you can see already we have percentage d here which means we need to return integer type data. So its return type is int. It also takes two arguments of type integer. So let me have two integer local variables to copy the values of n and k here. So let me take a variable count and assign zero to it. So while num, that means while num is not equal to zero, keep iterating through this while loop. So let us reduce the value of num by writing num is equal to num division 10. It reduces num value by one digit from right. Now let us write a condition. If num modulo division 10 is equal to the value entered by the user stored inside k, in that case, increment the value of count by one. So initial value of count is zero, so increment it. Once the control exits this while loop, once num is zero, return the value present inside count. Let's check if it's actually, the logic is working. Phi three, two, phi phi, zero phi. So let us check for the occurrence of phi. So it has appeared one, two, three, and four times. Phi has appeared four times in this number, okay? So this is very simple logic. I'll explain it once again, actually. Uh, once I write the prototype for this function, I keep forgetting that. So I'll first write it. After that, I'll continue explaining. So optionally, you can remove the variable names here and you can cut this off from this screen and paste it after main method. It looks clean that way, okay? So reduce the value of num by writing num division 10. So iterate through this while loop until num value is greater than zero. So check if num modulo division 10 is equal to k. If that's true, increment the value of count by one for each iteration of this while loop. Decrement the value of num by one digit from right, okay? So let me explain this snippet of code once again. So if user enters num value as 155 and 0, 1550 and k value as 5. 
so first this this function is called from main method right this occurrence function has been called from main method so let us replace the values of num and k it is 1550 and 5 so the number 1550 is not 0 right so while the control enters while loop so now 1550 modular division 10 gives 0 so 0 is not equal to k which is 5 so this line of code gets executed let me copy paste it here so 1550 division 10 removes the last digit from this number so remaining number is 155 so k value will remain 5 throughout the execution of this program so num is positive again it's not 0 so num modulo division 10 fetches the last digit of this number which is 5 5 is equal to 5 yeah it's true now increment the value of count by 1 so what's the previous value of count so count is initialized to 0 so 0 plus 1 is 1 let me show it to you let me show it to you here so so count is initialized to 0 so count plus plus means count value is 1 now so 155 division 10 will give 15 removing the last digit so now 15 modulo division 10 gives the last digit of this number which is 5 5 is equal to k yes true so increment the value of count by 1 that means count value is 1 increment it by 1 means 1 plus 1 is 2 again num is equal to num division 10 num is 15 15 division 10 means 5 it removes the last digit from this number so 1 is positive once again 1 modular division 10 is 1 1 is not equal to k so again run this execute this line of code so 1 division 10 gives 0 so the new value of num is 0 again while loop so while 0 that means while false that means control exits this while loop so outside the while loop we have a statement called return count so we need to return whatever the value is present inside the variable count to main method so what we have inside count is 2 which will be returned to the calling function which is main method so 5 has appeared two times in the number in the number 1550 hope that's clear so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog Share this video with your friends using your WhatsApp, Telegram, WeChat, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.